Oh, hello. In today's video, I want to talk about why I think Kill Team players should get themselves down to a Warhammer store this weekend. So as you may have guessed from the first slide and the thumbnail, this has to do with the monthly Warhammer retail store promotion. So in case you're unaware, um, every month GW Retail has a model and a coin that you can pick up. Now, for the coin, you have to spend £60 in store, and you get a coin each month. And so a lot of people sometimes assume that because the coin is paywalled, then surely the model is paywalled, but that's not true. The model is literally free, okay? You just have to walk into your Warhammer store and say, hey, uh, I'd like a miniature, and, and you should be able to pick one up. So, I mean, I think the coins are really cool, right? I actually quite like Warhammer coins, and... Um, one of my big supporters of the channel, a guy called Nightfall, who uh, you may have heard of, uh, has been asked to see a, a, sh a shot of all of my coins. So I thought while I was talking about the, the miniature of the month and the coin of the month, I would just show off my collection of uh, coins, right? That's every coin they've ever done. Um, uh, I think so, anyway. And so that's roughly four years' worth of, of coins. I say roughly... Um, because sometimes they have a month where there's two coins and things like that. But it it is every coin they've ever done. So for every single one of those, I had to spend £60 a month at a GW retail store. Which, you know, it does mean I effectively have paid quite a lot for these coins. Because if you shop online, you can get a 15 to 20% discount, right? So each of those coins, you know, I, yeah, I have paid for them. But I do think they're really cool. I am someone that loves to collect things and likes to look at the collection. And I derive considerable joy from having, you know, the, the complete set. So for as long as they, um, for as long as they are are, are doing this uh, thing, I'm going to keep going down to uh, GW and um, I'm picking up um, something or my wife something or something for me and something for her that sums to sixty quid from from the local Warhammer store, which. You know, I also, as someone that runs a school Warhammer club, think it's important that, like, Games Workshop the retail stores continue to exist, because I would hate to see... You could easily see, like... <laughs> I, anyway, could easily see a situation where, um, obviously, Games Workshop as a whole company is, is doing really well, but I could see a situation where they decide that it's no longer worth a candle to have quite so many, like, s cell phone retail stores in the UK, because everyone's buying online and things like that but i think that those retail stores are great for the little kids so happy to happy to support our local store uh but yeah it's my coin collection now i was asked if i'd go through and um sort of go through each one and be like what did i buy to get each coin but genuinely i can't remember one of the things that you can say is that the coins tended to be tied in to um releases so i think this is like dark eldar this is obviously nurgle got a slanesh coin Ultra, sorry, Dark Elves, I think this one. Uh, Nurgle, Sanesh, Ultramarines, something to do with Eldar, uh, Chaos coin. That would have been an Age of Sigma coin, right, from, like, well, the, it's, 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 it's a couple of years ago now, so, like, the last time Age of Sigma launched, right? Got a Sisters coin, another Age of Sigma coin, uh, Grey Knights coin. That would be from the Orc release. There's, um, obviously... The Black Templar release, that'll have been Christmas. You know, um, some of them are a bit more generic. So have got an Imperium coin, a Tau coin, another Orc coin. They don't all tie into releases, but some of them some of them do. Okay, uh, this was Necromunda, so obviously it would have been around the time of a big Necromunda release. Maybe from, no, it won't have been when Necromunda first came out, because Necromunda's been around for ages, but it could have been Ash Wastes, potentially. Um, Tyranids. Chaos again. Citadel Colour. What will that have been for Citadel Colour? Might have been the second wave of contrast paints. You know, with the really bright opaque yellow and the really black opaque black. Um, this, I think, I wanted to say Empire, but of course it's not. It's Cities of Sigmar, isn't it? This is probably the League of Votan launch. Okay. This one... Is this something to do with Radical the Wolf and Cursed City? I think it might be. Um, something about Space Marines again. This is the Christmas coin again. Um, so the Goth... Goth Rocker, right? 
struggling. What's that? Let me know in the comments if you recommend what that one's all about. This would have been the Imperial Guard release, Cadia. This is where the Adeptus Arbites for Kill Team, right? Uh, some other pretty generic Chaos ones. This would have been some kind of Lizardmen release. Now, this one is interesting. Azir, you may wonder why it's not down here with the Shaish coin. So, the Azir one, because if you look on Warcom, Shaish and Azir came out at the same time very recently. It was a two coin month. But actually, the Azir one had come out previously. It wasn't part of this promotion. It was part of a thing where if you signed up, they only rolled it out in a couple of stores. If you signed up to a particular mailing list, um, or you made a new account on GW.com, you could get one of these coins. So that's why that's over there. Um, then we've got... Oh, what's this? Is this going to be the Beastmen for um, Kill Team? I can't remember. Then this looks like the Leviathan, around Leviathan launch time. Right, so you got a Tyranid one and a Terminator one, probably in that order, because Tyranids won the um, Tyranids won the um, poll, so they got revealed first. So the next one's a Terminator one. Then we've got another one of the realms, because I'm guessing they've done one for each of the realms. I forget which realm that is. Is that the symbol for the realm of life to tie in with what they're doing with Warcry? Probably is. Yeah. Uh, another generic Warhammer one. Okay. Um. That'd be the new Terminators? Or maybe the Deathwing? It's definitely Crux Terminators. And then this is this year's Christmas one. Yeah, that could be the new Terminators. That's this year's Christmas one. This one is for Legions Imperialis, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, they'll be the new Terminators because the Dark Angels are down here. So we've got Dark Angels and Crew here. We've got... Um, it's obviously a, um, a Soul Black Grave Lord symbol. I'm trying to remember... If it, what Soul Black Grave Lords release there was around there, but I can't remember. Um, some of them don't tie into anything, and some of them come out like a month after you think they should, right? They obviously got slight like tie-up problems because they moved their schedule around. This one is another generic Warhammer coin. This is Black Library, I think, right? Then we got Dark Angels and Crew, uh, White Dwarf 500, Chaos Warriors. I'm not sure why we got Chaos Warriors. And then this is Shaish, because we've got Shaish in Azir. And coming up, we know the next one, to, to flip back to the start here, we know the next one is going to be Skaven, right? Which is kind of a mirror to here when Leviathan launched, because we're pretty sure Skaven have won the thing to be revealed first. So I would predict that the next coin after that is going to be Stormcast, right? To, to mirror the whole thing where you got Tyranids and then... Um, terminators so that's my coin collection hope you find that interesting not really what the video is about just thought i'd sneak it in there because it was something somebody asked about mr nightfall um but really i want to talk about the miniature of the month so if you're not familiar with this promotion so ignore the coin we're done with four coins now that was a side ramble if you're not familiar with this promotion this is the miniature of the month promotion um it, oh hang on a minute perils of parenthood as I was saying, um, leaving the coins aside for a second, miniature of the month, you walk into Games Workshop, you say, hey, have you got any of the model of the month? And you get a free model, and it should be as simple as that. You can be a stranger off the street. You don't have to spend any... You might consider it a little bit rude, but you don't have to spend any money there whatsoever, and you just get the, the miniature. Now, it's not generally quite that simple. They're supposed to. The retail policy is that you have to sit in the store and build the model with their clippers and glue which annoys some people because they don't have the right files and the right light and they do a bad job, blah, blah, blah. My advice would just be to build it, like, so it's tenuously together and then take it home and you can smooth mold lines and file it down and build barrels and whatever you want to do. Um, this is because GWHQ in Lenton and Nottingham basically went, oh, these are turning up on eBay. We don't like that. Um, you're supposed to be for getting people into the store. Make and build them in the store. So, Some managers in some shops will let you take away to build them at home anyway. Uh, if they do that, then don't publicise which shop they work at because, in theory, they're breaking the s corporate policy, right? And we've got to look after each other in the world, yeah? Um, now, the promotion works in two ways. Sometimes it's like a little uh, bespoke model on its own little sprue, about that big. And if you... Um, 
Remember the Felguard? Not Felguard. The Beastman for um, Kill Team. The Kill Team Beastman. They gave away a Kill Team Beastman. He was sprued out on his own little sprue. And sometimes they are. Most of the time, though, the store is sent a certain number of boxes of the miniature of the month. And the store manager actually has to sit there with clippers and clip out the individual models. So the way you can tell which it's going to be is if in the Warcom article, it says the words, it may differ from the one pictured like it does for the scouts. I've highlighted that down the bottom. Then you know this version is going to be the thing where they clip them out of a box. Now, on the one hand, that makes them slightly less collectible because I quite like to collect the models of the month when they're on their own individual little sprue and I've got a little collection of them over on, on the wall. You can't see, but I've got a little collection of them when they do one on an individual sprue because that's quite interesting. Um, when they're just clipped out of a box, that's less interesting for me. But in this case, because it's quite useful for Kill Team actually having a practical use on the tabletop rather than just being a funny thing to paint, um, you know, it may be worth your while to go down and get one. It also means, because they're clipping them out of the box, um, as far as I'm aware, the only box available for the Scouts is the Kill Team box. So you might be lucky, or if it's a store where you shop regularly and you know the manager quite well, you might be able to ask and get, like... Um, a specialist or a sergeant or a heavy weapon or something like that as well, which is which is pretty cool. Now, why do we as Kill Team players particularly care about the scouts? Well, there's a couple of reasons. Um, so the thing to point out is that the scouts, when they launched, if you look at the black, because um, the problem with everyone's like, oh, don't use the books, only use online sources because they're updated. But what if I want to talk about historically how the rules launched compared to how they are now? Got to go back to the dead tree. So if you look at the, the black box there, you'll see um, that's how the scout squad launched, right, as a, a, a nine-model team. So you've got your sergeant with... Um, just a second. Real daddy's girl today. Right, so I was saying, you have the sergeant, okay, plus eight more, right? So you've got your sergeant with the weapon options, and then you've got your two heavy gunners, your hunter, your sniper, your tracker and the rest with warriors up to nine miniatures. And then they changed it in the balanced data slate, so you needed ten miniatures. So, okay, you're thinking, I don't need an extra model. Ten models in the box. Why are you telling me about this 11th scout I can pick up? That's irrelevant. Well, if you already played um, scouts, right? If you already played them, then... Possibly you built that model as something suboptimal for a 10 model team. So maybe you built a second sergeant because you wanted to try out a sergeant with a bolt gun on some on, in some scenarios, right? Maybe you built a, like you built all of your warriors with um, shotguns, or you built one with combat blades, and then you built one with a bolter for your extra one. Or maybe you used up your extra one for a, a, a test miniature, or for conversions for something else, or you did something else with it, right? So maybe you're in a situation where. You had your nine-man scout team that you're playing, and for whatever reason you haven't got access to, or that miniature, that tenth model in the box is, is used up, now you can go and replace it for free, right? You can go and get a free miniature from Games Workshop, so that's cool. The other thing is, you might just want another scout with a knife and a bolt pistol, because depending on, like, when I reviewed scouts off the bat, right, I, I confidently said, oh, the best way to build your warriors, right, is all shotguns, Right? So, of your eight warriors, five, six, seven, eight, right? You've got you got your two two gunners, your hunter, your sniper, your tracker, and you have to have four warriors. And I said, build them all four with shotguns. But now, if you look at the second thing they changed on the date to Slades, um, you know, add one to both damage characteristics of the combat blade, maybe you want to try and track down four um, scouts, right? Four different games workshops, you know? You get four four extra scouts with with, with combat blades because that's how you want to run your team. Um, because maybe you're not someone that keeps. Some people don't keep their bits. You know, they build their ten models and they throw away the plastic. Madness to me, right? But then again, my house is like Raiders of the Lost Ark, but for bits of sprue. So, if that's you and if you're in need of um a, an extra scout, just highlight that you can get one now. And it could be something as simple like look, if you have a friend who doesn't play scouts or doesn't play kill team, you both go into games workshop, you get two models, that's good. Or, if you've got, you know, back when I lived in uh, the northwest of England, we were pretty near to games workshop Liverpool and pretty near to games workshop Chester. It would have been feasible to visit both of those, two miniatures a month. If you're coming up to Warhammer World in a couple of weekends' time for the big kill team tournament, 
miniature of the month, right? And so you can pick up two or three that way and potentially get four replacement scout warriors so you can arm them with the, the, the better weapons if you've already built your kill team. So just wanted to make you aware of that stuff because I think sometimes most of us who play kill team are a bit older and we tend to buy from online discounters such as element games and rightly so element games is a great store use my uh, link in the in the description if, if you want to buy stuff from element games but the retail arm of games workshop gw retail does run these promotions every single month but if something's not relevant to you you might kind of gloss over it so but you might really value going and getting this free scout you know a free model is a free model so hope this video has been useful to me let me know in the comments if you're going to head out make a special trip into the town city near you and i do i will say i know it's a bit different in america where <laughs> i know it's a bit different in america where there's um it can be quite a big long drive to get to a warhammer store depending on where you live whereas in the uk we've got loads and loads and loads of them around the place so it, it does vary a little bit now okay need to wrap this up obviously but a big thank you to all my members especially massive crits who subscribed at the highest tier um thank you so much that really means a lot and i'm gonna get off and see what little miss needs she is with my wife she is fine she just can hear me talking and doesn't like that i'm not talking to her so until next time Cheery, cheery, bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. bye, bye.